like every teacher, every elderly teacher who I worked with has that quality about them where they will sit and tell you stories and make you learn that way instead of telling you what to play or what to do and that kind of thing. You know, like Michael Carvin, for instance, who is the most, one of the most revered um, teachers of the drums and that kind of thing. Yeah, we will talk about some drum things, but he's not going to sit there and, you know, I mean, because he knows my playing and everything, and he knows that I can do certain things on the instrument. So it wasn't a thing about, you know, me getting together with him for drum lessons, quote unquote. It was really a thing that was more about how to develop what I'm already doing and how to make that better, you know. But then we would, he would tell me stories. He would give me nuggets of information, of advice and that kind of thing on how to be successful, on how to carry yourself, on the language that you use to talk about yourself whenever you're performing. I mean, all of these things that, you know, one would overlook easily, you know what I mean? You know, it's, it's, it's like, so I try to provide things like that. So, but I've had that experience more with elder teachers or whatever than younger teachers, I think. And um, like, and, and that's not to say that the younger teachers aren't as valuable as, as some of the advice I've gotten from the older ones, but it's just something about, you know, hanging with the older musicians, I think that is very important. And it's something that I think needs to happen more you know, with younger musicians hanging out with older musicians. I mean, the, all of the greats are passing, you know, they're really passing quickly. And, you know, it's, it's always best to try to take advantage of the opportunity of getting the wisdom from a lot of these older musicians through stories and also through, you know, just being around them and everything and seeing what their life is like, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, that's, that's, that's important for me. And um, sometimes things take a while to get, but, um, but I think it's still important to get the information and um, you can always save it for later for when you really need to uh, put that information to use.